Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 43 of Valdez, the Ring Road City here in City Skylines. Oh yeah, in the previous episode we have been building up this area, more residential workers required for all these industrial areas and also for the unique factories over here. And uh, yeah, we really build up a, a nice area over here as you can see, I mean it's completely loaded whoa low frame rate and uh, it still grows so yeah but anyway for this episode we are going to do something else something naughty we are going to turn the camera around like uh, I don't know how many degrees and we are focusing on an island somewhere somewhere let's go where are we going where are we going? Can you see it? Can you spot it? Can you see it? Can you spot it? Can you see it? To the island? To the island? To the island? To the island? Indeed, we are going to this island. Here we are going to do naughty things. You know, what I find kind of funny on this island is like there is a train station over here. And look at all these parked cars on this road. This is like complete... It's like, it's ridiculous. It's like to the point of like, what? Why are there so many cars parked here? There is nothing here. So I don't I don't understand. Why would people park the cars here to yeah to go to take the train maybe? I don't know. But the idea here is like to put like a space elevator and make people walk through parks from from here to there. Either take the train or a metro. We put more parking lots there. And we're going to earn a lot of cash money moolah. Because, you know, we are poor people. We only have like 57 million <laughs> Samoan Canadian rubles in the bank. So anyway, uh, anyway, 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 how are we going to do it? Uh, shall we keep it in pause mode? Yeah, for the time being. Okay, first of all, we start with the space elevator. Now, where's that thing? That thing is not under unique buildings. It's located under monuments. Yes, and this is the building. This lovely building here gives a lot of people. Not only this building, but also the passenger harbor. But well, I'll come back to that in a moment. So, I put it here. And the idea is now to put the people through roughly five parks. Because I measured it. If I take this road and I take it from left to right, it's exactly 100. Yeah, 100. So we can divide it in parcels of 20, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess so. So let's say if we take 20, this is like 20, yeah, and we go up to there, and from here we go down, we take another 20, we go up like that, and then down again, and another 20, from there to there, there to there. And from here, the last piece, from there to there, and from there to there. Right. Now you might wonder, like, okay, why would you do this like this? Well, well now then I know exactly how wide these parks uh, need to be. They are, ha are having the exact same dimension, you know, all 20 in distance. So I can now remove this road. Like that. Now, it's very important that on these uh, roads that cars, correction passengers, are not able to walk towards this thing. Only through the parks. So what I'm going to do is on these sections, I'm going to replace those sections with pieces of four-lane highway. Which are... Let me see, where are those things? These ones. Yeah, these ones. So we select these. We'll take just two sections, two segments like that and that. And here we go. Nobody will walk again through that. Now, for the remaining part, it's like um, we also are going to ban cars here. So I'm going to use Traffic Manager for that. Banning cars so it does not mean banning other services, but only the cars. So give me a moment, I'll be right back. Okay, from this vantage point now, you can see that all the cars are banned for entering this area. Okay, 
Now, now we are going to make sure that no people can actually cross these junctions. So we again take the traffic manager. We go to junction restrictions and we select here. Basically, no crossings. We can also select these for carry on. No crossings. Like that, like that. Like that, 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 that. So it's pretty quickly done actually. Here we go. Oh, no, not that one. Here we go. No crossings. And we do it also on the other side. Yeah. So you, 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 and you. You, you, and you. You, 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 and you. And also here, no crossings. I don't even want crossings here, but the people can continue. No, but no, oh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, that's the right button. And here, also on this side, you, you, and you. I mean, like services still need to go in there. Yeah. Okay, so what we need now to do is just create like all these uh, districts for the parks. So I would say like, just, I start now and then three, two, one, and voila, we have like five parks. So yeah, I accidentally started uh, districting the place instead of uh, using this these park uh, uh, options, but uh, I corrected that uh, while I was in the middle of doing it. So we can continue now by going into the park area, which is here. We take this main park gate directly in front of the space elevator so we put it here and then we put the exit on the other side there so this will be the shortest route for them so they enter here and then they enter here and they enter here and they enter i think here yes and then the exit is here here and here and I already put that exit over there. Okay, we connect these paths now together. Like that. From here to there. From there to there. From there to there. Now here's, it's, it's a little bit trickier because we have this, this train station over here. So what I'm going to do here is make the exit um, basically here. Why not? And then put this just around it. But make sure that they do not connect. Oh, not like that. <laughs> not like that. That they don't connect with the train station whatsoever. Because the people have the tendency of walking out of the yeah comfort area. Sort of. You know, that kind of thingy. Um, I also am going to place already, if possible. Where is that thing? A large underground metro. Put it there overlap slightly that parking lot but it's doable also this is pretty close by which i also don't like so let me remove that uh, hey come on let me put that side gate a little bit further to the side you know that's why it's called side gate you have to put it more to the side and that means also that I can move this thing around a little bit more, like this, to there. Yeah, so it's more like having a little bit of more space. That definitely helps. Right, so in essence, now we need like crossings because people cannot cross these roads. Right, for that we are using the node controller, which we just say like, okay, you get out and you go there. Right, here you go. Here we do the same thing. You go out there. And here, you go out there, sometimes you get an error message, which is then created by the fact that you are close to another node. And here we do the same thing as well. Here we go. Perfect. And also we will do it on this side because we need parking. Yes, we have already a node here, so we put a, cr no, a crossing here like that. And we move that in line with the park all those cars you know juke, 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 juke. okay um now that is going uh what we can do now is create parking spots and we have like gobs of space here that's nice so we're going to make use of that okay so oh that's the wrong button 
and we are going to use the big parking space where is that building here or building i mean that this this thing there and there let me have a look at this we have the metro station over there and this this is still inside the park Mm, I don't mind having an extra road over here to you to you just something like this that just goes behind this like that to there and then we pick this thing again yeah come on you can do it pick it thank you and I want it Oh, it does not want to be on the same line as the other ones. These, yeah, okay. And then these, and then these. There's a slight overlap somewhere. Uh, because the distance here is smaller than here. <laughs> Where is that happening? I think... Here? Hmm. Yeah, apparently. Let me see, if I put that to the same distance as there, like that, and here these lines are totally not corresponding. There's even space between these two, by the way, so if we drag them closer and we drag these a little bit closer, yeah, then these lines are a little bit more in, li in line, yeah. Let's not forget to put like a little path in between here. To turn that off so they can just walk from there to there because also what we are going to do is not only using these kinds of parks but also uh, put in a very large parking lots you know parking no not lots parking buildings and those buildings are actually you know I have to find those um, that's those are are those these modern garrets yeah this one uh, yeah they have an entertainment level and also visitor capacity so I have no idea if they really hold the cars but we will just see place them here and there with a little bit of space in between and what we are going to do now is say like okay now it's time to ban all the parking on these cars no more parking on these cars it's like uh, I'm saying basically to these guys get out of here so you get out of here you get out of here yeah yeah you also you you no more parking here no more parking there now before I remove the parking here I also am going to place parking buildings over here not buildings I mean parking lots so I pick this building building parking lot Ooh, okay there and there although it makes no real sense because nobody can actually drive here but uh just for the yeah for the game's sake of argument i guess <laughs> so okay let me remove these and you cannot park here you cannot park there and then here you cannot park there and there there and there like that yeah 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 yep and now I said something about a passenger harbor which I wanted to implement here but that made me suddenly think like well if people come with the space elevator they dive into the uh, passenger harbor and they travel to another place so that would really not help okay but anyway I think that we are ready we can unpause the game and uh, we can see how many people are actually going to walk through these uh, you know these parks so first of all I say to these guys you can carry through the junction like that okay and now we are going to into those parks and we set them all to 20 policies we do advertisement campaigns now the same we do here and then here we do the same thing we have a little bit of water spillage somebody forgot to flush the toilet I don't know what happened oh yeah I grabbed a little bit of land and advertisement campaigns and here they already come now now what we are going to do now is jank up that 
uh, jank up those parks to uh, you know to level them up so where are these roads these paths here yeah and we can accomplish that with the buildings that go with the park so we just make a let's say a 28 yeah 28 by 6 okay 28 by 6 28 6 there in here how far is this away a 2 like that and here this park is a little bit more different but i think it's big enough to house all the uh, required items you know to get it to full you know have a, you know full effect that we require like that uh, so what is this water thing over here it appears not to be straight okay that's easily fixed because we just select everything and we align it just with over there and then that water should dis disappear after I use a little bit of smoothening smoothie smoothie oh the, uh, the only thing that can happen is that these guys can walk from here and then around and then walk into that direction cross and then walk around like that ah yeah that's the little thing that i forgot okay so in that case oops oopsie <laughs> that went a little bit too ott here we go we take this take you yeah and then here we take this again and i think that will solve that problem okay and then we have like a crossing here here and there which we eliminate here we don't have any crossings here we don't have any crossings and here sh there also should be one there is two actually we eliminate that as well now what I'm going to do now is like um, going to put all kinds of stuff in here, pause the game and uh, I will be right back. Okay then, so I filled up this area now with uh, all stuff, so these things can now upgrade. Uh, the question is like, is it enough? Let me check this out in info. 1270, no, entertainment level. The entertainment level needs to be like 1100 in a bit to reach the maximum capacity, so this is way more than needed. So this is 1682 and this one is 1845 which is more than enough and this one uh, come on come on 1607 which is enough and then this one uh, is 1819 yeah which is also enough that means like that um, even if you know if some of these things burn down it will not affect the park now what i can implement here and that really helps uh, in most of the times so it's like an uh let me see what is that thing uh, this thing these these two boys those are like uh fire helicopter depots sort of things and you know water is nearby so whenever there's a fire they can go out and extinguish it 
yeah okay now I'm thinking what can we put behind here you know that would really attract people you know I, I really have no idea so let me first put a road there just a road with something like this can we go there yeah we can if we slide this slightly over we we, we can just perfect no problem no problem uh, that is a problem <laughs> so we go a little bit further than that and then from here to there great now let me also remove those crossings nope 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 and also make sure that no cars are allowed here because every time when you um, make new segments then it also deletes the the banning of cars so and the last thing you want the people coming from the space elevator is like grabbing their pocket cars and drive out and yeah the philosophy i always have you know when you can afford a space elevator ride you can also afford uh, for, uh, afford these parks now uh if we want to have people from the outside also going through this park we need something nice over here in the back and you know maybe something from the content creator pack maybe a big stadium or something that would be awesome that would be really awesome so let's have a look what we have what we have what can we use where are these things here are these th oh my god look at the size of these things we need a little bit of, i think we need a little bit more land that's for sure so let's grab this and could just just to steal a little bit of land so pause the game for a moment i know there are no shipping lanes over here so nothing to worry about that the shipping lanes are just running there so i'm just extending this island a little bit well a little bit <laughs> a lot and then we are placing this dam temporary over there and you will see why <laughs> you will see why because there's always some water that floods that way and we don't want that in our parks so let's wait for a moment while we think about or we can even look what is you know what is it what is yeah they're all nice you know 1625 visitors uh, and this one 13 what is just what is just the biggest one thousand eleven hundred 400 how about this one 500 i think this is the biggest one the glass eye arena it also looks like the most nicest one actually to be honest yeah okay let me uh glass eye arena okay if that water now settles then we can remove the dam right and then we go back we take this building and we try to plank it down perfectly here in the center oh nice 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 and no reason for people here to park right that water looks a little bit weird <laughs> look at this <laughs> what happens here what is this is this drying up will you dry up please <laughs> Um, I think yeah I think it dries up okay now as you remember here in, in the beginning we have placed this metro station over here now they dive now all the train these trains are oversaturated so what we are going to do now is we are going to create a metro line this one we dive underground and we bring this to the tarantula hub which is somewhere where is that freaking thing over here right and we have like a connection from here that can go all the way to there nice so that will be like a daunting task here at 10 fps <laughs> uh, let me see i want to go from there let's just go around to there yeah so let's see how far we can get first of all we take this and we turn this off so we have all freedom minus 12 and we dive down to first minus 24 and then even from there on we dive further to minus 36 yeah 
And from there, we need to go to there. Now, let's see what is the best option. Okay. From there to there. Yeah, that works out fine. And then from there, we take a bend to there. And then from here, we need to connect it up to there. Now, I could use the connection tool. And I wonder if that would make my life a little bit more easier. Let's see if it does. So we press shift and we click on that thing. And then we go all the way to this thing. Okay. Now we have like a very tight bend here. So let's see if we can... Oh, oh. Shifting my microphone a little bit. Okay, let's make that a little bit more. Okay, enter. Okay, the question is, can we see something about that on the surface? Oh, we cannot, you know, and as long as we cannot see anything about the surface, then I'm happy with it. Great, so we are selecting now the line from here, and we have to go all the way to Tarantula, you know, to the Metro Plaza. And we do here, all the way back to here. Now, pause the game for a moment because we are going to select now a certain type because this is a short uh, short line so we want the biggest capacity metro we have which is 500 metro 4 and this also did I also saw this one it's the same thing all right maintenance cost 20,000 no yeah 200 per whatever maximum speed 125 and this one is that the same no, this seems maintenance cost metro 4. Maintenance cost for 30 maximum speed. <laughs> Maybe we need to take this one. So we put that there. Right. And then we are going to add three vehicles on turn. No, one, two, three, four, remove. No, 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 no. How many vehicles? Oh, eight. Remove, remove, remove. We want three vehicles. Okay, play. Now let's have a quick look here, you know, because this metro line is going here. If we, you know, this is all kind of populated area, you know. It, it would be a waste if you don't use the metro line here in, in a spot like this. So maybe there's a little merit to it. Somewhere here in the middle, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, we can do that. We can take... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, that would be then... Uh, a, co a common road. The common road, this one. Can I get above ground? Thank you. Which will then... Okay, we will fix that path. Just, you know, do this. Like that. And the metro will be running into the same direction. So I need to put it like this. And this path over here. Okay, we have to redo it. Although, you know, it could connect to here as well. So it would make no difference. Like that. Yeah. And here we can also even implement parking lots. So, parking lots, uh, this one. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then here a metro station. That would be then just a, a simple one, this one. Um, yeah, it will, yeah. It's a little bit of a noisemaker, this one, but it has to do. Then we connect that stuff up, you know, here, and we go underground again. There. Perfect. Press play. Now let's see, because we have that line still running there, I guess. Although I don't even see a line. That's weird. Let's get out of here. And then get into it again. Yeah, now I see the lines. Okay, so th this is the line. 
And I think the only thing we need to do is just add the stops. So here and on the other side also here. It's a little bit of finagling always to insert a stop, but it does work. And then from here, I think, yeah, they can go from there to there, which is perfectly fine. The only thing I want here to these guys, like you stop, you know, because they come from around about that's yeah, that's fine. And all these people over here, yes, now I'm just watching this. I'm saying like, okay, we take this path and we go above ground again. Now let's find a sort of path in between here somewhere. These roundabouts do support, you know, the um, pedestrian. So let's monkey around that a little bit like that. So we are going a little bit through that parking lot, but that's okay. I mean, it's not some, something that, that people really see, but I want to connect that to that uh, metro station over there. So they take uh, advantage of that. So what I'm going to do here is make a three. It will cost a few t trees, sadly enough, but nothing to do about that. And then from there, we bring it over to the other side, which is there. And then from here, it's basically, well, straight line practically. Uh, home. From there to there. Yeah, not, not bad, not bad, not bad. Let me see, let me delete. Oh, the B, a bit also. Yep, and then select some individual trees to place. Not that big, please. You know, just not those. Those are too. Not those either. Small trees. Do we have a small tree? You know, that does not cover up everything. Yeah, something like that. Should not cover the. The, the the roads or the the paths or whatnot nothing like nothing some nothing like that anyway there and there and there they already are diving into it I love it and we say to these guys don't park here we have a parking lot over there for that kind of uh, stuff and already people are walking here this is fine although you know you you might think like from above it's like oh but uh, they're already taking it. Nice. And of course that pillar is missing. Ah, there's always something missing here. <laughs> Welcome to City Skylines. Okay. And there's your pillar. Yeah, okay. Let's move it back. With pillar and all. Like that. And then put the pillar also a little bit more under there. And let me have a look at from up, up, up area. This is fine. You can go there. Loving it. That's working. Okay. Now let's get uh, to our uh, Frankenstein Island over here. <laughs> this is actually a little bit dope, you know. If you ask me, <laughs> a big stadium behind that, behind that, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, are there more things we can uh, apply here? I mean, while well, we are busy with it, I mean, why only a stadium? We have the space here to make this a nice sort of touristy place uh, all around here. You know, why not? Why not? For example, we can put something on the water. What, what, what can we put on the water, for example? Uh, there are so many, all kinds of options. Let me see, pedestrian area, no, this thing. But we have all these things, for example, jet ski rentals. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we can make that happen, but for that we need to. Let's see. Can we do it like this? No, no, that's not recommendable. Let's do it a little bit closer by. Something like this. So the water will be very close by that road, which is fine. Like that. 
nice and straight and then we select this option and then we reduce the brush strength and then we smoothen it slightly off just like that yeah i know it's not 100 percent perfect but it will do then we get back to these things so we have like fishing tools which can be placed here we have like jet ski rental we can place it there we have like a marina we can place it there we have like what is this a restaurant pier we can place it over there we have like a beach volleyball court well there's not really a beach here so riding stables nah not that kind of thing did we also yeah we already got that one uh do we have anything other related to on the beach i don't know is it everything what are these things park maintenance park maintenance buildings i feel like there are more things here that meets the eye so let me check this out large ice cream no 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 how about here what is this vertical farm agriculture what a uh, visitor capacity visitor capacity okay 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 you go sit right here next to that um, space elevator and draw in attention yeah and these guys they look a little bit uh, yeah jumble mumble but with the moving mode we can of course straighten all these things out so let's do that also align it with the road this thing the same thing align it with the road this thing as well also align it with the road so as you know i'm also playing this other vanilla city called skylines 2015 and you know playing without the mods and uh, <laughs> oh my gosh that's really something you know <laughs> let's see this this looks fine this looks fine now let let me do some finagling detailing on this one like getting it closer by getting it perfectly to match nearly perfectly match the road section yeah that's fine here we do the same thing to this guy yep and then to this person as well yep that's good enough and then here it's also nice now the only thing i would say like uh yeah regarding the water edge okay we do this very carefully we bring this a little bit back just a little bit back so these guys are really you know sticking in the water with their things so this is the same thing not too far so now we smoothen this smoothie smoothie smooth uh, smooth and i wonder you know how much sand we can implement here actually brush size sand Oop. no sand uh maybe that because of that um, dirt is still wet somehow i guess this is sand oh yeah okay ah okay that's a little bit <laughs> a little bit ott so far but we're going to reduce it slightly brush strength like that something like that and then uh, just carefully just okay yeah when you escape it it looks quite different so we are going to uh, first of all what we are going to do is save the game uh, it's called Valdez so we save it yes and now and while it's saving we are going to see how much these parks are actually yielding us with the space elevator so first of all we start with this one park info 
it gets us 20 grand. Nice. The next one gives us 32 grand. Okay, that's like 52. 52 plus nearly 30. That's like uh, 83. No, 52. 52 and... 52 and 30. 82. 82. 82 and... 21 makes 103. 103 and this is the last one. 17. So 120 grand basically comes down to that just for placing a space elevator on a very strategically uh, nicely spot. And I think you know in the next episode I, I I see opportunity here. You know I see opportunity with more I don't know uh, touristy stuff more ma turning this area more beachy in the next episode and uh, more peeps will definitely come in I mean, they do. what are they what are these guys doing are they even getting into that train can i can i get in there somehow watch this better i cannot get through are you getting in there? Yeah, some people get out, some people get in, but some people jump straight from the... <laughs> Why don't you take the stairs? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Look, they just dive here into the ground. <laughs> what? Oh, is that because of this pathway? Maybe? Oh, that's a possibility. Yeah, oh yeah, this must be it. Let's see what happens now. You take the stairs. Then you are good boys. Okay. How are we going to solve this? Well, we have like, if we type in here, concrete brush. So we have concrete brushes we can use for this kind of things. To just make it concrete again. And now, they, now they're diving into... The <laughs> now they're diving into here in the ground. Oh, these guys are complete knobheads. You know what? Uh, okay, you go and I will try to fix this little ish. That's too big. You go there. Yeah, they walk just straight on, you know? They should do the same thing actually over here. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Uh, where's that path? He, no. So if I grab the same path again, and I am taking this off, and I'm taking it from here. Okay, let's turn off the collision. <sighs> Why this, you know? You go there, and then we move this to very gently to there, like that. And now, hopefully, they're yeah, they're taking now finally the, the stairs. But why there are so many people there, it's like a little mystery to me. Look at that, it's like it's like these trains are not even carrying people. Can I click this train or not? kind of difficult because I only can yeah can I go underground no I cannot go underground I cannot select this train hmm well they will figure it out they also dive massively into the metro system as well but uh, anyway that will be uh, a headache for the next episode uh, also when we are going to expand this area as well and um, yeah this will be an extra money machine <laughs> yeah well guys and girls thank you for watching this episode number 43 of Valdez. we have now 215,000 people in our city and uh, we might also be able to build more people on this side you know just to get more peeps everywhere and uh, yeah I hope to see you soon again in episode 44 is that uh, 44 again yeah okay Okay, guys and girls, thank you for watching, and until next time, see you. Bye-bye. Mm,